there, I'm Shaden, and I have recorded this video three times now, I think, because I just can't get it right, and this needs to be right, and I just want to preface this by saying if you do not like drama, which I don't even know if I would consider this drama, this is just an injustice in my opinion, but if you don't like hearing about controversy, click off this video because I'm just going to delete any comments that are like, stop talking about drama, when this is something I'm standing up for what I believe in. I literally have it tattooed across my chest, stand up for you, what you believe in and nothing else, and I believe in this, and I stand behind this 100%, and I am infuriated by what's been going on lately, and my brothers and sisters from the real MDE crew have been fighting really hard, and I am not going to sit back and let them fight on their own. So here I am making this video, and I'm hoping I can shed some light on what's been going on on Twitter and Instagram and pretty much blowing up all over social media. I'm not going to be crying in this video because I have wasted so many tears on this. I have cried myself to sleep numbers of times over this situation over the past couple months. I am here to tell you exactly what's going on and to back up my brother and sister from MD because they deserve it and you guys deserve it and I'm tired of being walked all over. So today I got home to a text from Jaden that said you need to check the MDE channel right now. Did you see the video? And I was like, oh fuck, like no, I haven't seen the video. Um, so I went and I watched it. And it was pretty much an announcement video for a relaunch of the MDE channel two days from now. In literally two days, they are going to relaunch the My Digital Escape channel with six new people and Brian. None of us are okay with this. This is something we've known about now for, I would say, about three months, maybe a little less, two months, but I've always had my suspicions because even while we were on tour, Brian repeatedly told me that he had a replacement waiting for me. I think he said it was Eugenia uh, was going to replace me once he kicked me off of MDE but I guess the plans got a little skewed when the entire channel fell apart. There have been a ton of lies and a ton of miscommunication and a lot of sitting back and just taking what's been going on for you guys' sake, but there has been so much horrible, just horrendous, painful suffering that has been going on within the six of us, meaning myself, Alex Dorme, Johnny Gilbert, Kyle David Hall, Jordan Sweeto, and Jaden Whale. And we have sat back and took it, and it is time to tell you, and it transcends literally this suffering, this pain, everything we have been going through transcends what you guys have seen by so much off camera. It has been so much more of a shit show, so much more angering, so much more just disgusting, slimy stuff going on that you guys couldn't know and we didn't want to tell you because you shouldn't have to hear it but at this point you have to you have to for my sake for the rest of the real MDE cast cast as Brian would call us for their sakes for your own sakes so I guess I'll just begin with the beginning of my own my digital escape experience and this is all my personal experience Brian has threatened to sue me on numerous occasions now so if any of this is vaguer than you would like it to be I really apologize, you can send me a DM, I'll try to respond to it, but unfortunately for my own safety and so I don't get sued or threatened to be sued for like the fourth or fifth time, I'm gonna have to be vague about certain things, but I just wanna get out the main point and the main like story, the big bullet points of what's been going on the past year, the entire past year and why MDE fell apart and why it's being relaunched now without any of our permission. So I cannot speak for the rest of the members, but I do think that they are all making videos themselves, or at least a large majority of them. So this, like I said, is all going to be my personal experience, and I'm going to start from the very beginning, the day I got the phone call that I was inducted or whatever into MDE that they were looking at me. So what I recently found out was that when the spot opened up for a new member, a new seventh member, a lot of people were contacted to fill the spot, and almost, well, I guess all of them did say no previous to me, and I wish I had said no, but he called me, I guess as a last ditch resort or whatever, that makes me feel good, but he called me, and I was excited, I was thrilled, because I, at the time, I had like 200,000 subscribers, I was established, I could have done it on my own, but I saw a group of people that appeared to be amazing friends, that had amazing content, and it was something that I wanted to be a part of. And on top of that, I was a fan. I was a Brian Stars fan. Like, I actually enjoyed his content as hard to believe as that is. 
but <laughs> I actually enjoyed his content. I enjoyed his interviews. I was a longtime fan from when I was a little, little girl, like 12 years old, and I thought this was, this was it for me. This was my opportunity. This was my launch into the industry. This was my in. This is what I had to do. And all of my parents, meaning my mom and my dad, and my lawyer, and everyone I worked with legally and personally all said this was a bad idea. Everyone got a bad vibe from Brian. Again, personal experience. My entire family got a horrible vibe from Brian, and my lawyer also did, and they advised me very strongly to not go through and sign over to his management. The conditions I was given was that if I was going to be on MDE, I had to be on Brian's management and pay him a percentage of all of my earnings, which seems fair. Management, that's what's supposed to happen. However, he didn't do, in my personal opinion, he did not fulfill his duties as a manager. And so he was pretty much just taking a cut of my paycheck every month and making it hard for me to survive on the money I was making and just kind of sat back and terrorized the MDE channel. And by terrorize the MDE channel, this is what I mean. Seven out of seven week was the first time that I realized there were huge problems. Like it, as soon as I met everyone and we were all in one room in one setting, I realized we were fucked. Like we were trapped. There was nothing we could do. No one was happy. No one wanted to be there. Everyone was scared. Everyone was just letting this happen because no one knew how to fix it. And by it, I mean, at the time, the first initial problem we had with MDE was the content. While YouTube is a job, for, it's a job for me, and it's a job for everyone that does YouTube, you know, every day or frequently, weekly, pretty much everyone who does YouTube and is a professional YouTuber needs to make money. They have to make money. You know, it's a job, you need money. You need money to survive, that's just a fact of life. And while I do do this to make money, I only make money doing this so I can do it. I don't know if that makes any sense, but almost all of the money that I make goes straight back into my videos because I love my videos. I did this job, I did YouTube for five years without making a penny, five years. I'm pretty sure my channel started in 2010 and I didn't start making money until last year. So if that doesn't go to show that I actually do care about this and this isn't about the money for me, then I don't know what will because I did this for five fucking years when I could have been doing something else, could have been doing sports, I could have gotten a sports scholarship, but I wanted to do YouTube instead, so I quit sports. You know, I love this. And so that was the case with most of the MDE members. And by most, I mean myself, I mean Jaden, I mean Kyle, I mean Alex, Johnny, Jordan, all of us, we really cared about our content and we did this, we do this because we love this, not because of the money. We make money so we can continue to do what we love, essentially. But that was not really the case for the MDE Corporation. What started out as a fun-loving group of friends doing what we love quickly became... I don't know. I don't even know. It was like a fucking factory. It was like working in a factory. I found no enjoyment. It drained everything out of me. And on seven out of seven week, we had to make videos that Brian very closely orchestrated and organized. He picked every topic. He didn't give us a chance to pick the topics. We were not allowed to choose what videos we wanted to make. He paired us up with who we did the videos with, which is why there's a ton with me and Alex because that's what was selling. Not that I didn't want to do videos with Alex. I had a lot of fun doing videos with Alex, but that's what was selling. That's what was getting the views. So we didn't get to choose who we partnered up with. It was just always Shannon and Alex get together, you know, and the content was the biggest problem. The content, a lot of you guys yourselves commented on, you know, right away, like right when the seven out of seven weeks started happening, you guys were like, what the fuck are you doing? You guys look like idiots. You guys are adults and you're acting like five year olds. There was queer baiting. There was, you know, hypersexualized videos. There was, I, I don't even know. It, there was selling suicide, like, there was, like, depression day and everything, which to me is totally fucked because, you know, I think, you know, the person in charge of this knew, this is what I think, think he knew that, you know, 
young teenagers are often depressed and often suicidal and they find refuge and they find comfort in our videos and if they're genuine if they're genuinely me sitting here and saying i'm having a fucking horrible day and i want to vent and this is how i'm getting through it and you can get through it too that's one thing but saying all right everyone go sit down get in your corner of the room and make a video about depression that's just selling suicide and that is fucking gross and I am not okay with that and I'm actually thankful for Jordan because Jordan was the first person to stand up and say that this was not okay. He was not okay with the, mostly he was not okay with the hypersexualized content, which I wasn't either because a lot of you guys know I have a history of sexual abuse and people were bringing in dildos and like slapping me with it and you know, I'm not gonna have a full on breakdown because it's just a dildo, but still it makes me uncomfortable and it would make even someone who's not a victim of abuse uncomfortable. Like that's just not normal. And on top of that, our audience is a bunch of 12 to 15 year old girls where they should not be exposed to this type of content and often on the internet parents don't really realize what their kids are watching and so you know to an extent I don't feel responsible because to an extent if you aren't ready to watch something you shouldn't watch it but to an extent I do feel responsible because if I know personally the MDE audience was young girls I could see it literally on our analytics girls ages like 12 to 15 or whatever was our demographic in the US and UK and Canada my channel, my demographic is significantly older. My demographic for some reason is 18 to 24, which I don't know if that is correct. But I knew on the MDE channel, this content was going out to people who were not old enough to be viewing this content. And none of it was getting marked as mature because we were smart about it and could like, you know, get around it in the tags and thumbnail. And no one was okay with it. Everyone wanted it to stop. You know, during 7 out of 7 week, everyone literally was just like, this is not okay, this is weird, these videos aren't the stuff that we're making on our own time. And we brought it up in a group discussion that ended up getting really, like, violent and heated, not physically violent, but screaming and everything. And the final results from the person in charge of the channel, who pretty much could get us to do whatever he wanted us to do, was, if it's not broke, don't fix it. What the fuck? If it's not broke, don't fix it. Meaning, if it's still making us money, keep doing it. We had moral concerns, we had emotional concerns, and if it's not broke, don't fix it, is the only response. But it wasn't even just like our fans we were concerned about. We, as people, as human individuals, were genuinely uncomfortable doing the videos we were doing. You know, we could have got up and walked away, but where are we gonna go? We're in LA, no plane ticket, no way to get home, nothing. Like, we were very intimidated and it was sad. And all we could do was try to discuss things, which always turned into a yelling argument and nothing went through. Nothing ever went through. And I guess after that, after seven out of seven week, which was a complete disaster, we sort of remedied things and went back home to do our own thing, go back on our way and everything. Um, we were prompted with the idea of going on the MDE tour, which none of us felt like we were ready to do. And that's genuinely true. We were prompted by our management. We were like, you have to do this tour. This is gonna be a great thing in terms of money. Money, 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 money everywhere. There's gonna be so much money on the MDE tour. And you know, I was like, that's great and all, but I don't think we're big enough to tour. Like, you know, we aren't, we're not a band, we don't even fucking do anything, we're YouTubers, and you know, that's hypocritical of me to say because like, I wanna go tour and I'm gonna go tour when I have music and stuff, but at the time I didn't. I was like, what the fuck am I gonna do? Like, stand on stage and fart in the microphone? Like, Jesus Christ, like, we aren't ready to tour. Most of us don't have acts, and you're not helping us put together acts. You know, like, if Kyle wants to do comedy, you need to sit down with him and help him write out his comedy thing. You're the fucking manager, and that didn't happen. You know, it was just, you know, here's your time slot, you're gonna get up on stage. And I ended up even cutting one of my skits or whatever because it was supposed to be me and Alex. It was supposed to be our skit because we were the two on the tour with nothing to do. We literally were just there for shits and giggles because having our name on the ad mat would sell more tickets, which is the honest truth. And we didn't want to be there. And we decided, me and Alex came up with this, like, potato sack skit where we would pull a fan up on stage because we were like you know what if we don't get to do anything we at least want to be the ones to interact with the fans you know because you guys are why we're doing this and if we don't have like a real performance you guys are going to come up and hang out with us but 
but we were only allowed to do this if Brian got to get up on stage and commentate. So he got to talk about the potato sack race, which didn't need commentary because I could have fucking done it myself. I am the most vocal person out of the entire group, I think. I talk the most, I know that's for sure. And I could have done it myself. Alex could have done it. Alex is a great talker. Anyone up there could have done it, but he had to do it too. And on top of that, he had the headliner spot, so he had the longest set and everything. So this, this is where I have to get really vague. Very vague. And I wish I could tell you because this is what really tore the entire thing apart was money. And it wasn't that we wanted more money. It wasn't that we wanted, you know, we weren't making enough money. It wasn't that, you know, we didn't even care. You know, Johnny, Johnny said himself all he did was want to get up on stage and play his fucking music and go home. Like, that's what he wanted to do. And that's what I would have wanted to do if I had my music out at the time. That's what we all wanted to do. We just wanted to put on a show. We didn't want to do it because of the huge monetary gains. We didn't want to do the tour in the first place, but if we had to do a tour, we wanted to do it for the right reasons. Because we wanted to play our music and have fun and stuff. The problem was the other person was not into this and was very sneaky and slimy and there was a lot of money, you know, problems I guess I can say there's money problems not related to the six of us I, that, I really don't even know how to go about saying this without him threatening to sue me again but but I guess let's just say there were a lot of secrets kept there was a lot of bullshit I got I, I really don't even know I'm like at a loss for words for how to explain this because I know I'm gonna get sued because it has to do with money which is the number one reason to sue someone so I guess let's just say someone was being a snake as I've already said but like ultimate snake as snaky as snaky as it gets and I was me and Kyle especially Kyle and I especially were incredibly vocal about it because we were the first to realize it also Tyler Tyler was also too but I'm just talking about MDE but me and Kyle the entire tour almost every night we would you know walk up to Brian and say you know what the fuck is up why are you doing this to us why are you doing this to them what is going on like why won't you tell us anything why is everything a secret blah blah blah, blah. we would interrogate him almost every night and try to get things try to stand up for ourselves and stand up for everyone else because pretty much most of the group was highly intimidated, scared even, I would say terrified of him. They didn't know what to do, and me and Kyle weren't, because I'm not fucking scared of anyone. So we were the ones who pretty much stood up for the group every single night, trying to get things fixed, trying to get things normal so we could continue doing what we were doing, but it never worked, and as soon as we got home from tour, we got kicked out of MDE. So for all of the confusion as to why we got kicked off and then Brian would say we didn't get kicked off, I hope that clears it up because if he explained his reasoning for kicking us off because we were getting in the way of his master plans or whatever, that'd make him look bad. So that's why he posted on Twitter and said on you now that we were still great friends when Brian, I've never been your friend and I've told that to you to your face plenty of times. We're not friends. I don't like you. In fact, I hate you. And there's only two other people in the world that I hate, and they have done very, 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 very horrible and illegal things to me, and you're grouped in with them. If that doesn't make you reevaluate your life a little bit, then I don't know what will. But point being, the entire MDE thing fell apart, in my opinion, because of Brian. In my opinion, if we could have had any other member as the seventh member, literally anyone else, it wouldn't have fallen apart. MDE would still be here. And we actually suggested to Brian on numerous occasions, why don't you just step down from the channel and manage us? You'd be a good manager, man. You just gotta do one or the other. And he said no. He wanted to be famous and he wanted the money. So that's why MDE is not a thing anymore. However, it's about to be. It's about to be a thing again. And that's what I guess I want to talk about now. The channel is being relaunched in two days from what I understand. And I am just absolutely appalled that someone would take the hard work of six other people who they already have manipulated to a level beyond my comprehension and take all of their hard work and fucking give it to themselves. Just steal it. That's just stealing. You know, like, I, I, I'm sure I could get sued for that one too. If you sue me, Brian, this just proves how shitty you are. Not only are you taking something from us, you're gonna sue me for saying you're taking it from us. 
So go ahead, but that'll just prove my point further and you know I'm right. And a lot of people are saying, I've seen a lot of comments on Instagram and Twitter and stuff that are like, oh, we have to just blame Brian, not the new members. However, that's not the case. I can't really tell you who the new members are because they're not confirmed. And like I said, I'm worried about getting into a lawsuit with Brian because he threatens it constantly. But um, I don't know exactly who the new members are, but I'm pretty positive I do. And all of them know us and have worked with us personally. And most of them, the big kicker is that most of the people that he supposedly has lined up for the new members are all people we individually have huge problems with. Like huge that have personally like hurt us or have personally like victimized us or done something, you know, caused drama with us. The people that all of the new people in the MDE channel all have a problem with the old members. Like one way or another, one person to another. And if you think that they're doing this without knowing what they're doing, you're being foolish because I know 100% that they all know what they're doing. Because even if we weren't putting up a stink about it, even if we weren't saying, right now I'm saying it is not okay, you cannot take our channel, and if you do, you are scum. Even if we didn't say that flat out, which we have on multiple occasions, you know you don't take someone's art. We loved this channel. This was art to me. This was an outlet for me. Have you seen Jaden's fucking penny boarding videos? Those videos are art. They are literally art, and you can say it's not, but they fucking are, because that is emotion and that is soul put into a piece of tangible, I don't know, video in this case. And someone is taking our art and taking it for themselves for monetary gain. You know, if it was not for monetary gain, they would make a new channel, which is fine. Make a fucking new channel. No one's gonna watch that shit anyways. But I promise you, if Brian prompted them and said, Hey guys, I think it's a bad idea to start this channel on the MDE channel, they would all just walk. They'd say, I don't want to start a new channel. I'm only in this because I know I'm getting a channel with 800,000 subscribers. That's why they're in this. And you don't steal someone's art, even if they haven't said no. You know what I mean? You don't fucking trace someone's picture and then take it into your art teacher and say, Hey, this is mine. Give me an A. That's not how it works. You know, you don't need to be told that taking something that isn't yours is bad. They should just know because they're not idiots. They've made it that, well, some of them are, but they've made it this far and they're clearly smart enough to survive. They know, they know it's not okay. And every single person should be held accountable for their actions. No one is m making them do this. They can step down right now. From what I've heard, Brian didn't even make some of them sign like he did to us. Didn't have to sign the management contract from what I've been told on you now by my ex-boyfriend who's supposedly in the channel. They can just walk away. I'm pretty sure I know who all of you are and you can just walk away and there will be no problems. But I promise you, if you do this, your life is going to be a living hell. Not because I'm going to make it a living hell, but because you're gonna have to live with what you've done. With the fact that you are too incompetent to make your own channel and start your own thing. You cannot be successful without riding on my back, without riding on Alex's back, without riding on Johnny's back, without riding on Jordan's back, Jaden's back. You'll be just as bad as Brian doing 10 facts about all these bands, you know, only doing videos with other people because he can't make a career on his own. You are the next Brian stars, all six of you. And if that's what you want, Go the fuck ahead. So, in closing, none of this is okay. None of this will be okay until that video is taken off of our channel. Our channel should be laid to rest. Our channel is dead. Show some fucking respect. Take that disgusting video off of the channel and never post on it again. And if you do, Go to fucking hell. Love you guys, and I'm sorry for the anger in this video, but this is not okay. And we're not gonna let it be okay. Stand up for what you fucking believe in.